I want to thank uh, Pastor Michael to give me a chance to speak to uh, Jim Duhame and on behalf of Jim Duhame as he is retiring. Whenever I came to be pastor at Hillcrest, Jim Duhame was one of those people who made a big impression on me to start with. The lieutenant Colonel, retired Lieutenant Colonel, knew he had been in charge of a lot of responsibilities and in charge of a lot of men, a person who had had a, a stellar uh, military career, but he impressed me because he was a man who knew how to take orders as well as give orders. And Jim was so humble in his spirit that whatever you ask him to do, if his pastor told him to do something, he was busy to do that. And boy, I appreciated that so much of Jim. I had a chance to know him and get to know him because he served on the deacon body with us as well as the fact that he was one of my prayer partners. We met every Monday morning, uh, him and a group of us would pray and I could always depend on Jim being there. And we spent many, many hours praying together and whenever you pray with somebody and spend time with somebody like that, you get to know their heart, you get to know their passion. And he was a man and is a man of great passion a great humility, a great character, a man of great vision. And that's one of the reasons that, that we found him out there at Delville working with the ROTC and, and felt like that the Lord wanted him to come on our staff. And so after serving the military and there at Delville working with all of those young boys and girls in ROTC, God led him to join our staff in the area of missions and pastoral care and with a real heart to want to be a counselor. And so Jim came on our staff, and he was a faithful, loyal servant of God. Whatever needed to be done, Jim would do that. And boy, I grew to love and appreciate him. One of the things that we had that we shared in common was a passion for a counseling center. And uh, a couple of years ago, I had the chance to revisit uh, Hillcrest and be there for a service. And Jim grabbed me and, and brought me and showed me the new counseling center they had. And well, I could see the pride that he had in his heart, in his life, because of uh, seeing that goal, that vision, that hope become a reality. And well, I just walked around in the midst of that counseling center knowing that God had fulfilled the vision that he had given to me and to him about that. And I know many, many lives have been touched because of that experience, because of that counseling center. And now it's time to retire. And Jim, I just want to encourage you to enjoy your retirement time. How many times is this you've retired? I know from the military, we pulled you out of the school system and now you're retiring. But I know your heart, and I know that it means you're really not retiring, you're just kind of slowing down. Because you're always gonna be involved in ministry because you love the Lord, you love His people, and you're gonna always find a place to serve. But I hope you do take some time to slow down and to enjoy Linda and your family and to have a chance to walk a little slower and smell the roses along the way and to do some of those things that you want to do and that you've enjoyed doing and look forward to doing. And my wish for you is that you have a great and glorious uh, experience in retirement. I think about us and our journey, how God helped us to learn how to walk in faith and how God gave us some glorious promises along the way and, and in that journey how we saw people saved, we saw miracles happen, we saw buildings become a reality. We experienced a lot of things together, and I will always cherish that journey that we had in our walk of faith. Now you relax, enjoy retirement, have a great time, and since you're not so busy at the church, you ought to have a little time to come visit us up in Anniston, Alabama. We love you as a brother, cherish the time we spent together, and wish you the very best. Years of happiness and fulfillment in your retirement. God bless you.